Hi, this is Robert Wells. Uh, I'm now in Cromer, or well, we are in Cromer, and we'll be here for a few days. And we've decided to do a little bit of uh, tutorial Tuesdays for the YouTube channel. Sorry, I'm squinting a bit. I'm right in the light. We're going to start by having a look at the lighthouse here above Cromer. Beautiful day, very mild, quite breezy, but as good as anything that you could ever expect on an October morning. So I think we're just going to crack on. Yeah, we got to look at is getting some form sorted out, and it's just a case of working very quickly and just easing yourself into the painting because I have no idea what's going to work and what isn't going to work and I don't want to start fretting and, and thinking oh is that the right proportion or is there something else that I need to do just do it so that's the first thing Most of the stuff that I'm putting down now is probably never going to be seen because it's going to be buried under layer upon layer upon layer. And the thing today is because it's quite a nice sunny day, I'd like to get down into Chroma and do some painting, possibly with my new friend Martin the Fisherman. I think what we need to do is perhaps put a little bit of foreground in and start building the painting up in all directions. So let's have a look at something across there. Yeah, so we're also tempted to put Maria in. Luckily she can't hear us from there. We'll put her head in somewhere. Right, well, everything seems to be packing in today, as per usual. We've now lost audio. Uh, with a bit of luck, we'll lose some pictures of me So, But anyway, I'm just painting away. Everything's good. Very changeable sky today, so I'm just going to get in what I can and uh, ad-lib it a little bit and see what we end up with. Whilst it looks like the atmosphere is fairly consistent, it's actually changing all the time. But I'm just going with it, so following it around really, as it gets darker, the painting gets darker, then lighter again. I've, I've experienced this quite a lot, so I just have to put up with it and stop moaning really. But it's coming on, slowly but surely. Very often in these paintings, I try to look for a hook line, something that will really grab your attention or finalise the painting let your eye rest on something. Maria's just randomly walked across uh, right where I was painting so I thought right okay well we'll stick her in then. So that's exactly what I'm doing. 